It's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. We quickly look at a new program that's uh, uh, provided or established to curb the issue of food insecurity. Now, with the latest Global Hunger Index 2022 that ranks Niger 103rd among 121 countries facing hunger crisis in the world, Nigeria might just be on her way to food security. As she started her journey, long journey to end hunger and achieve food security by launching the special agro-industrial processing zones, a program initiated by the African Development Bank, According to the president of the African Development Bank, uh, Dr. Akumi Adeshina, the special agro-industrial processing zones are new economic zones located in rural areas to be fully supported by infrastructure uh, that is power, water, roads, digital infrastructure, and logistics. It would allow food and agro-business companies to be located within such zones. This will put them close to farmers in production catchment areas and provide market offtakes for farmers, support processing and value addition, reduce food losses and allow emergency of highly competitive food and agricultural value. Uh, the launch that took place in the capital kicks off the implementation of the phase of uh, this program in eight states across the country. Well, this is also in partnership with the Nigerian government, amongst others. We we'll just head straight to it as we have a chairman, All Farmers Association of Nigeria Southwest, Dr. Femi Oke. Dr. Femi Oke, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh, it's nice for me to be with you. Nigeria. All right, then I'd like to share your thoughts. Uh, you are a farmer. What do you, what do you make about or what do you make of this uh, recent development, agricultural development that is aimed at earning food insecurity in Nigeria? Uh, well, well, we are happy to see what is really happening now, especially uh, to the vice president office, which we have seen the special agricultural processing zone being introduced. And supported by the part, cultural food and cultural of, of uh, development and the uh, African Development Bank, in collaboration with the Islamic Bank. This is a, it's a, it's a thing we'll be agitating for, for us to have a process to produce so this and uh, increase the food security we have in Nigeria. Uh, it's a welcome development, and we are glad that the federal government is even very, very in the high esteem of. Uh, Absorbing what they are plotting. Uh, definitely, there is no doubt about that. These processing stones have been set up in the eight states that they have been uh, introduced as a pilot scheme. Definitely, there will be more sufficient food in Nigeria. Uh, we are glad to have uh, seen that and, uh, because for I mean, a individual or even a state to set up a processing for itself is not a it's not an easy thing and that is why we are glad for the collaboration of this African Development Bank is a uh, great aim to uh, Nigeria and the uh, collaboration with I I I the Islamic Bank and all that. Uh it's a very difficult one with this uh the institution of in Nigeria. Um, it, it, like you said, it's a welcome development, an interesting development. Um, when we hear the word zones, it obviously uh, means that a, an area, a piece of land, and a geographical area, let me say, will be carved out uh, for, for this agricultural um, uh, you know, program. We know about the, the controversy with ranching in the country and the federal government's uh, attempt to set up what they call RUGA. Um, what is the difference between this, apart from the fact that you have uh, multiple, you know, crops or multiple, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, crops, agricultural, you know, items being uh, cultivated in these special agricultural pro processing zones. But what is different from the Uruga policy uh, that the federal government was trying to initiate in this current subs by the AFDB? What we might have seen that has been the difference there is the enabling environment that the government is producing is going to that is coming up uh, on on board. Uh, when we are talking of a processing zone, this must have been a very conducive area, especially when we talk of.
Well, All right, Doctor uh, Femi. Okay, seems we've uh, we've lost connection with you. Are you still there? Can you hear us, sir? Um, it seems that the network has been um, has been Unfriendly. lost. Yes, but uh, this is a, a very important um, uh, discussion to have. The reason I ask about Ruga is because of uh, the back and forth between the authorities, Mercy, and um, uh, Nigerians who felt strongly against this because the plan was to have uh, a place, a, a reserve community. Uh, for herders, where they'll live, they'll grow and tend their cattle, produce milk, and undertake other activities associated with the cattle business without having to move around in search of pasture for pasture. Um, so if, if, if these special agro-processing zones could also um, uh, accommodate that, then it will mean that then we're still having it, but under another name. Uh, 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 Dr. Femi, okay, sorry about the network um, uh, challenges, yes, but you were saying about this Ruga issue acts in comparison with the SABS program by the African Development Bank? Yes. Uh, well, well, that, uh, the development is a welcome uh, thing from the government of which we have seen and we are advocating for it. Because the environment of where the processing zones are, they are going to be a conducive area. When we talk of ways to that, to those cases are going to be very the particular must have media, water irrigations, and the uh, even the agencies that satisfy uh, produce. I'm sure we all be present there. They will show their attention to see that because everybody cannot have modern technology, everybody cannot own what to use the produce. So if you tell them bring your produce to the hall, to where the processing zone is, all what you need to do is to give them your trademark which is going to be uh, tagged into your produce, and then you will have to What I'm trying to say next is a welcome development that we have, we have in the eight states that the government, in collaboration with AFDB, Federal Development Bank, and IFAD, and they uh, are bringing into the government and the uh, counterpart fund of which federal government is now, is now putting in. So it's a development that is uh, highly welcome. And okay. we love this, and there is going to uh, reduce food security in Nigeria because uh, everybody wants food on his table. Doctor, uh, okay. Uh, 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 let me ask you this quickly. In the country. Doctor, okay, so if you can hear me. Doctor, okay, can you hear me? Doctor Femi, can you hear me? Uh, well, unfortunately, we have been disconnected, and I, I was hoping that he would answer if he were here because he's a farmer. So my question to him would be, how can you or how can we achieve food security when we have failed at national security? We understand the dynamics uh, or the security concerns. I mean, where farmers are not able to go to their farms because of terrorist attack, and some people will say bandits and what have you. How do we get there? And we know that this sounds very lofty. This would probably not be the first time that we're having a program as this in Nigeria. Now, we, of course, the government is very positive that in five years, all things being equal, that's half a decade, it's possible that we would actually earn the f issue of food security. But I'm sure that you're very conversant with, you know, the structural adjustment program. You're uh, very conversant with the Green Revolution program, uh, Operation Feed the Nation. You want to go on better life and what have you. In including the seven-point agenda. You also want to talk about the Jonathan administration. All of these are agricultural programs that we have had prior you know, to um, independence or prior to this time. There's been several of them. But how far have we fared with all of it? Really, where are they now? So what's even the guarantee that this particular project would actually see the light of day when you have a different administration? For instance, we have an issue of cons consistency or continuation with policies. Right, So you have a different government coming into place and there's no guarantee that there will be continuation. Because I would ask, if you have several government that has been in place, uh, you know, let's even leave the military government. For the time that we say we got into a democratic or civil government, why haven't we continued with the several agricultural programs that we have had? It's a lot. So could it be that we have issue of policies? Policies are really almost not. Just as this has been crafted, it sounds very fantastic and a lot of people uh, are very excited about it. But we ask, will it be implemented? How far will we go with all of this? 
Unfortunately, Dr. Femi, okay, uh, he's here. And uh, Femi, can you hear me, please? Hello? Yes, Dr. Femi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Well, good. So I'd ask you this quickly as uh, we, you know, move on with the show in no time. My question to you as a farmer, you are the chairman of All Farmers Association of Nigeria in the Southwest. And I'm asking, how can food security be guaranteed? Uh, you seem very excited about this program of the government. How can it be guaranteed when there's no national security? Well, uh, definitely with this program, security has to be provided. Uh, we, we, can, we, we can't have a laudable program like this and uh, without uh, of, the, of, the, of the insecurity. It's not possible. Uh, we appreciate the government that uh, accepted with the IFAB and the AFDB and uh, for the conducive environment where this uh, hub is going to be established, especially in the states. I'm sure the governors of those uh, states have to wake up now to make sure that there are, there are security. Uh, because we want food security, uh, food secured in our country. So definitely, we are, I'm sure in the eight states that they are starting, there is going to be a lot of security in this regard. Uh, what I'm saying in essence, again, is... Uh, by the time we started, definitely it is the farmer's problem. And uh, I'm sure there will be food on the tables of every, every Nigerian. Uh, because of uh, purchasing the technology and the bottleneck of exportation even either, and uh, what have you that are giving us problems. So government is going to provide all those things in these agro-processing zones. So, which we call it hub. So, all what we need to do as the farmers have said is just for us to bring in our produce. And I'm sure this country, as what you have mentioned, will be a thing of path. Will be a, a thing of, 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 of path step. So, definitely, I can assure you, with this pilot scheme, uh, we are going to get the results within the next few years. All right. Uh, there's a lot to unpack still uh, right, regarding this. For instance, what else do the, does the government need to put in place to take advantage of this? Indeed, uh, uh, Mercy pointed out that, uh, you know, we have a, a history of policy failures. That's okay. But I'm sure you agree that um, because the federal government is taking up just maybe $18 million out of uh, $538 million of the cost of this project in Nigeria, it's mostly domiciled with the... Uh, agricultural or the African Development Bank, rather, and therefore may not be, um, would you say, not strictly under the control of the federal government? Uh, I don't know if you agree with that. And then also, very quickly, what does the government need to do to make this work, since it's not domiciled with them? Are we looking at probably roads to ensure that the products are moved you know, easily and smoothly? Cross River State is one of the states named here. And uh, if you want to drive to Calabar, Mexico and bear me witness, as I'll bear witness, it's not easy. So what does the government, very, very quickly, sir, need to do to make this work? Uh, there's no doubt about that with what you have said. You can even see the, governor, the, the, the state of which was included, which is a Cross River State. Look at what the governor of the Cross River State is doing in the area of livestock. So definitely there's no way the, the process will not be moved easily into, the, uh, into their destination. And as I've said, with the uh, Food and Cultural Development, which is IFAT and the African Development Bank, most of the agencies that have been lacking, that have been sleeping, definitely we wake up for them to say, okay, this is the way I belong and I have to perform my duty. So I'm sure there will be no any resistance, any, any slowdown in these activities. So I can assure you that with what uh, we have just seen, we, have, we are now seen through the, uh, for this processing zone, uh, coming up, coming on board into Nigeria. It's a green, it's a things of joy for us, and, I, and I'm sure definitely. It All won't right. be like the past government of which just our, pres uh, our past government, we just think that I'm embarking on a, on a project without the follow-up. So definitely with the agencies that are involved and all the banks that have come on board, definitely there will be more, more security, more honesty, more performance in this, in this regard. All right. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Chairman of Farmers Association of Nigeria Southwest, uh, uh, Otumba, Dr. Femi Oke. 
We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you, my, my dear brother. God bless you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, it's uh, going to be a tall order for those who will be part of this in Cross River State because we know the, the roads to Cross River State are really in poor condition. Both from uh, the Uyo to Calabar axis and even from uh, Benue State and you know uh, Eboni State, the Northern Cross River axis to Calabar, it, it's really uh, in poor condition, I believe, till now. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, you're very correct. I mean, uh, apart okay. from Cross River State, if you look at the roads uh, to different local governments, because most times there's always an emphasis on the capital, and so you have a capital of a state and that's where the priority is, but you have local government. For instance, Cross River has 18 local government. You ask yourself, are those roads more terrible? And we understand that this is going to be in cluster. So, but I'm, I'm, I don't really know how I feel about this, which is not, you know, consequential, it's not important, but I'm sure that a lot of people might have, would also have lost trust in the entire process because this would not be the first agricultural program that we'll have in Nigeria. But fingers are crossed, let's see how this pans out. Right, uh, please do ensure to join us tomorrow when we return, but you can follow up on the updates from Plus TV and even watch, uh, you know, except of this program on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. We're also on Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook. We'll put up some excerpts of this program there at Plus TV Africa. Also another YouTube account, uh, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels. It's been great having you this morning. And I am Messi Boko. We join the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel as a Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle.